if you are looking to explode your TikTok following via the means of the live event, you came to the right video, my friend, because in this video, I'm gonna give you five key tips for doing live events on TikTok. They're gonna help you explode your following and make more sales. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm even gonna give you a bonus tip on how to deal with the haters. Guys, if you don't know me, my name is Frank. This is the Digital Boss Life, and what I do is help you flex your money-making muscles with affiliate marketing. Today we are talking TikTok, the most explosive social media app today. And if you don't know this, maybe you've been under a rock for a couple years during COVID potentially, and you're just coming out to discover that TikTok has become the number one app on the planet, and that's because of the viral ability. The ability to make a post Anyone from someone with a million followers down to someone with zero followers can go on this app today, create a post, and potentially wake up tomorrow with hundreds, thousands, potentially even millions of new fans with a viral post, all right? Giving creators the ability to build a platform quickly and maybe more importantly, build a business quickly. All right, so TikTok is so powerful that the competition has come to battle. All right, so Instagram and YouTube have created their own vertical short form platforms that mimic TikTok just to be competitive with how powerful TikTok has become. So Instagram has reels, YouTube has shorts, which is great for creators because what we call vertical form or short form content, 60 second and under content, not that difficult to create a video, right? 60 seconds and under, pretty quick. You can, you can bang that out relatively fast, right? You can also use this content on Instagram and on YouTube. There are nuances to the way that works. I'm not gonna get into in this video, but Vertical form, short form content, 60 second and under, all right, that grab users' attention quickly, gives value, entertain, educates, is the wave of right now in social media, and TikTok is the leader of that, right? So what we have right here is the TikTok for creators monthly newsletter, and I will leave a link for you to sign up for this if you're interested, right? And how do we know that lives are so powerful? We know lives are very powerful for a couple of reasons. One, we can just look and see that the biggest creators are the ones that are going live often. What else happens while you're going live? TikTok is pushing your live event to people all over the platform while simultaneously pushing your content to people all over the platform, right? So the live event serves a dual purpose. Your lives go to new people and your content also goes to new people, all right? We also know that lives are important to TikTok. How do we know? Because it's in the freaking monthly newsletter, all right? It is in the newsletter, right? They're talking about it right here. Tip of the month, maximizing your live events. If that's the tip of the month, it's safe to say that one of the ways that you can grow on TikTok would be to do live events. So if you're not doing lives, let's get on it. And if you have been doing lives, let's go over these five tips, all right? So tip number one, plan your live. All right, you plan your live and you schedule and you see this button up here in the corner. I hope you guys can see that over my head. This is the live event tab right here. We press this button and now we can schedule our live, give it a day, give it a time, and maybe most importantly, give it a headline, right? So you'll see a lot of creators on TikTok Q&A, such and such Q&A, depending on your niche, right? And that's cool, but that may not be as powerful as using that headline like you would name a webinar, like you would use the headline of an email, a uh, subject line to get people's attention and have it be value and benefit driven, right? So my suggestion to you is if you do Q&As and they go very well, hey, you could stick with that. 
But if you want to step it up a notch and you want to plan your events, it would be helpful to give a value benefit driven headline where someone's going to look and say, hey, I want to be at that event. You know, three steps to five steps to learn how to solve X problem, okay, how to make more money, whatever it might be, whatever your niche is, right? A value benefit driven headline is going to entice more people to sign up for this event because the reason that you plan your event is to get more people into your lives, right? Instead of just pressing the live button and go live where no one knows about it, you plan your live in advance and people know about it. They can even sign up for it in advance. Here's another thing about planning your live. If you have content that you're going to teach versus just coming on and doing a Q&A and sometimes you'll find yourself on the live like, hey, I'm going to do this Q&A and you're staring at the screen and, and people aren't asking questions and you're getting frustrated because they're not asking questions. The truth is they may not know what to ask. So sometimes when people are on your live and you actually have something to teach, three steps to, five steps to, whatever it is that you're teaching, the value that you're giving, as you're talking about these things, it will set off the light bulb that will get more people to ask questions about what you're talking about. So just understand, again, you come live without a plan of action, people don't always know what to ask you until they hear you talking about it. So when you plan your live, you're going to have more success. Tip number two, manage your event, right? So the live event icon is located here, right? And you can go in and make adjustments if you need to, right? And you can also look at who is signing up in advance so you can know how many people are going to be on your live event before you actually go live, right? So you can do all that by this tab right here. So you plan your live and you manage your live on the way into it, all right? Tip number three, maintain your event, a.k.a. show up and do the live thing. So if you schedule live events and don't show up enough times, you're going to get some strikes from TikTok and potentially uh, be limited in your ability to go live for a little bit, all right? You'll get the, they'll put the chop on you, all right? So when you schedule an event, make sure you're going to show up to your event, right? Don't schedule the show and not show up and and do the show don't say you're going to go to work and not show up to work right schedule your live show up to your live make sure you do it tip number four promote your event so what you can do now is now that you've scheduled your event there is a feature when you create a video you can create a video through your regular content and tell people about the event so they show up okay and when you do that to create a video, tap the plus icon, okay? Create your video, and after recording your video, tap add link and choose the live event that you wanna promote, okay? So you can have multiple live events scheduled. You create your video, you create a regular piece of content for your followers, and you promote by tapping the add link after you create the video and choose the live event. And you put that in front of people so they can go right from your normal piece of content and schedule themselves into your live event. All right. Tip number five, start the event. And what you want to know about this is you can show up to the event 10 minutes before and you can actually go live and get in there early. So all the people who have signed up for your event previously will see that you're live and start to come in your live so that when you want to kick off on the start of the hour, per se, people are already in there and you're not talking to nobody and still waiting for them to come in, right? Because people, you know, if they schedule something, I know I'm coming to an event at 10 o'clock, I come into the event, people are busy, they got stuff to do, right? They want to start rocking at 10 o'clock. So if you come in early, they're all going to get notifications and more people will be in there at the start and you can get rocking on time, they can get rocking on time and get back to their lives your subscribers will be happier, you'll be happier, everything will kick off how it's supposed to be, and that's the way you're supposed to do it. All right, so we know lives are important. Why? Because it's in TikTok's monthly newsletter. It's one of the biggest ways you can grow your following on TikTok. Now, let me give you a bonus tip. Haters, man. It's a lot of haters on TikTok, especially because your content is going out to people all over the globe. Typically, TikTok is a geolocated app, but it's going out to a lot of people who may or may not be into 
your niche, what you do, may not know you, and they're going to come into your live and potentially they can heckle you, right? And hopefully this doesn't throw you off, right? So I do pretty good with hecklers. I tend to kind of go back and forth with them. And I've been quoted in the past as saying, hey, we want to we want to keep our haters. We want to keep our hecklers because they're kind of pushing trigger buttons in you that you should probably know are there so no one could push them later, right? So I rarely block anyone. But if you have to, Actually, the other day, I had to block somebody, but it was, it was getting to be too much. It was just too ridiculous. But I'll get a lot of just random comments, haters, hecklers in my live. And, you know, my big tip to you is you either ignore it, you play with it, you have fun with it. You can't take your time to answer every hater while you're trying to teach your subject of expertise, Right. Um, but if you can play with it, play with it, have fun with it. And if you have to, just block them, get rid of them. Block them on the spot, get them out of there so they're not distracting other people that come to your live event to actually be productive. All right? So when it comes to haters, there's a couple ways you could deal with it. If you're cool and people don't bother you too much, just let it go. Ignore it. If you can play with them and be playful about it, do that. And if they're really bothering you and distracting from what you're doing or distracting others from paying attention to what you're doing, block them. Get rid of them. All right? Don't waste your time with it. Just get rid of them. That's my tip for you there. All right, guys? So let me sum this video up for you. TikTok is the most viral platform on social media right now. You can literally explode your business and your following overnight. It's very important. One of the most valuable things in TikTok is going live. It will help boost you not only your lives to brand new people, but your content as well, so you can grow your following and the amount of people who know about you, your brand, your business, your services, okay? And that's why you wanna get on it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, head down below, leave a you know a like, a comment, let me know how it did help you out, and of course, subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Guys, my name is Frank. This is the Digital Boss Life, and I look forward to catching up with you in the next video.